Express. For years, the NCAA's guidelines have stated that college athletes are forbidden from accepting compensation in exchange for allowing his or her name or picture to advertise, recommend, or promote the sale or use of a commercial product or service of any kind. This law also does not allow college athletes to accept sponsorships, including social media or any other type of endorsements. This guideline for college athletes, especially those of Division I, has always had controversy surrounding it. But more recently, this discussion has increased. Last week in California, Governor Gavin Newsom signed a bill allowing collegiate athletes to sign endorsement deals and hire agents, giving them the first opportunity to make money off their college sporting careers. We sat down with Division I baseball player Devin Kellogg to get his insight on what this bill getting signed in even more states means for college athletes. Yeah, I think some college athletes should be paid. I think it depends on whether your sport brings in revenue to the school and I think some of that revenue should go to you because you're the one performing and generating ticket sales, views on TV, stuff like that. They should be able to make money off their own name. I think the bill, the bill is going to get passed in probably all across the country because right now if it's just California that has this rule, I think most of the good athletes are going to go play in California so they can get paid. So, I mean, unless all other states and whatnot schools want to lose good recruits, they're going to have to pass bills like this so they can get paid in their own state. I don't think I would ever get paid just based on the fact that at my school we don't even sell tickets for baseball games, so we're not bringing in any revenue. On Tuesday, the boys' soccer team lost to Belchertown 4-3. to the girls' team lost to Ludlow 1-0. to Also on Tuesday, the field hockey team tied their game 1-1 to against West Springfield, and the cross-country teams both lost to Amherst. Yesterday, the golf team had their last match and beat Hopkins Academy. Last Friday, the football team won their game against Wakona 28-16 to and has an away game tonight in West Springfield.